Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make highlighter slimes. Yes, if you have old highlighters that are dried out, use them to color your slimes and watch them glow in the dark under a black light. So, let the fun begin. Choose any good quality non-toxic clear glue. Wear gloves. Now I'm going to be using highlighter ink. I will use an orange highlighter. Simply pull off the bottom of a highlighter and remove the ink filament. Squeeze the ink filament to empty it of its glow juice into the clear glue. Add activator of your choice. I am using spray starch or starch spray. The slime will start to form immediately. Once your slime is a consistent stringy texture, you need to pull, bend, stretch and twist it. Knead your slime until it is smooth and stretchy. I left the highlighter slimes for a bit and it is watery. I left it as it is. Now, you will need a UV light or a black light for this. Here are some options. So here are all the highlighter slimes ready. Let me turn off the lights and let the fun begin. Do you like my glow in the dark nail polish? Do you want to know what I'm using? I am using neon shade called Flip Flop, which is from Model's own Polish for Tan 2014 collection. The polish dries matte, but I used a top coat to make it shiny and protect it from chipping. The top coat is also from Model's own Gel 5-in-1 Coat Gel Top and Base Coat in 1. Protects your nails, extends the life of your manicure. So I am using a tube black light, which is basically a fluorescent lamp with a different sort of phosphor coating. The black glass tube itself blocks most visible light, so in the end, only benign long wave UVA light, along with some blue and violet visible light passes through. Most fluorescent colored things, such as highlighters right here, contain phosphors, and you'll find them all in glow-in-the-dark products. Here are all the gorgeous highlighter slimes on spoons. This is what the pink highlighter looks like under black light. Fluorescent highlighter markers are so bright because they are literally fluorescent. When used to describe highlighters, the word fluorescent is not a vague term that means extra bright. Rather, this word is an exact scientific term indicating that the highlighter ink exhibits fluorescence. Fluorescence is a phenomenon where a material absorbs light of a certain color and then emits light of a different color with a longer wavelength. The most striking type of fluorescence involves the absorption of ultraviolet rays, which humans can see, and the subsequent emission of light in the visible spectrum, which humans can see. Because humans can see the original UV light, this is what the yellow highlighter looks like under black light. A fluorescent object looks like it's glowing mysteriously on its own when it is illuminated only by UV rays in a dark room. For this reason, ultraviolet lights and fluorescent materials can add an intriguing look to darkened rooms at parties and events. Since highlighters contain fluorescent chemicals, the marks made by highlighters will seem to eerily glow on their own when placed in a dark room with an ultraviolet light, which is black light. This is what the orange highlighter looks like under black light. When a fluorescent object is illuminated by both visible light and ultraviolet light, such as when illuminated by sunlight, the object will still convert the ultraviolet light to visible light. This is what the purple highlighter looks like under black light. The visible light created by the object's fluorescence gets added to the visible light reflected off the object. As a result, a human observes a fluorescent object that is under full illumination to be unusually bright instead of eerily glowing on its own. Note that this is a physical effect and not a psychological effect. A fluorescent object does not just seem to be brighter. A fluorescent object is physically brighter in the visible spectrum when under full illumination than other non-fluorescent, non-glowing objects. This is what the green highlighter looks like under black light. On the molecular scale, fluorescence is caused by an electron making several downward transitions after making a single upward transition. What? When an electron absorbs a bit of light, it transitions to a higher energy state inside the molecule. When an electron transitions down to a lower energy state, it must lose some energy and can do so by emitting a bit of light. The frequency and therefore color of the light that is absorbed or emitted by the electron is a function of how far the electron transitions along the energy scale. 
A large transition downward means that the electron must get rid of a lot of energy. Thus, if it emits light, the light must have high energy, which corresponds to high frequency, you know, more towards the blue-violet ultraviolet end of the spectrum. A small transition downward means that the electron only needs to get rid of a little bit of energy, so that the light it emits is low energy, low frequency you know, more towards the orange-red infrared end of the spectrum. For regular materials, an electron in a molecule absorbs a bit of the light shining on it, causing it to transition upwards. This is what the blue highlighter looks like under black light. Then the electron transitions right back down to where it started, making just as big of a leap downwards on energy scale as its original upwards leap. As a result, the light it emits is the same color as the light that hits it. Hmm. We refer to this effect as standard reflection. Ah, yes, the ever popular standard reflection. Some of the incident colors can also be absorbed so that the reflected colors equals the incident colors minus the absorbed colors. For fluorescent materials, the electron absorbs a bit of high energy light such as ultraviolet and therefore it makes a large transition up the energy scale, but then it loses some of its energy to increasing the vibrations of the molecule before it has a chance to transition back down and emit light. As a result, when the electron finally does transition down and emit light, it has less energy to lose. It makes a smaller leap down and it therefore emits lower energy, lower frequency light. In this way, electrons in fluorescent materials, such as our ever popular highlighter ink that we are using right now, are able to transform high energy bits of ultraviolet light into low energy bits of visible light by converting some of the energy of the incident ultraviolet light into molecular vibrations, which ultimately becomes heat. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.